Okay, um, this video is an attempt, uh, first time on my part, to um, do a couple things, two things. One is to remove the barnacles from this pontoon boat, as well as cleaning up the aluminum. And secondly, which we'll do first, of course, is uh, lifting the pontoons off the trailer. Um, I tried different approaches to this, but I took the pontoon boat, when I took it out of the water last uh, last year, uh, it had a lot of marine growth on it, unusually uh, large quantities. Uh, the water here in the back of my house is brackish and tidal, so this river um, doesn't flow uh, that strongly in order to give it enough uh, uh, momentum to remove any of the brain growth. Now what I'm going to show you first of course is the other side. I did the starboard side of the boat first and you can see pretty much how clean this section is. Um, it's uh, the chemicals and the me and mechanical method that I used pardon me is uh, done a pretty decent job um, with a trial and error process. Now when you lift the boat <coughs> or lift the trailer in order to gain access to the underside of the pontoons, um, first thing I did was put cinder blocks and support the trailer on this starboard side and then would jack up, you can see underneath here the, I would jack up the port side and you can see all the growth underneath mainly at the bottom and then I built these stanchions to uh, support the, uh, the underneath of the pontoon on this side. Uh, initially I had tried to um, lift the pontoon entirely using cinder blocks underneath the pontoon and some wooden blocks to support it but I felt that was going to be somewhat precarious and I didn't want to damage the underside of the pontoons too hard or put too much pressure on them. So at this point I had lifted the trailer up with a three ton jack, actually got this jack at I think Harbor Freight and this allows you to move it up and then put the uh, support brackets underneath and I'll show you those a little a little more how I built those and then drop it so that <coughs> you have uh, clear access of about six inches in order to accommodate um, your tools. Now uh, there are several things to do. You don't want to uh, scratch or hurt the aluminum portion of the pontoon but there really is no way using as any plastic or metal um, plates to remove this stuff. So what I did is I used, again, something I think either from Amazon or I'm not sure where I got this. Uh, it's an old uh, oscillator uh, two, it's electrical. They make them in battery powered now, so it makes it easier. There's a sander. Uh, some of the chemicals you wanna definitely get is this guy here which is Starbright Aluminum Cleaner Restored. I got this from Amazon. Uh, it does a terrific job of uh, getting the stuff off. I also have some Easy On, Easy Off Starbright um, to try to remove any residual chemical calcium deposits that will be remaining on the underside of this carriage. Uh, okay, so if you look at these Ports. You can see I, I kind of used a 4x4, I ran a 4x4 uh, on top, actually cut these a little too short so I had to put some 2x4s underneath, but then I supported them with some cross brackets and there's two of those and this 8 foot 4x4 does a pretty good job of, of holding up this side of the pontoon. Now <coughs> when I'm, you can see from the starboard side all the <laughs> calcium deposits down below uh, that have been removed 
And again, you want to use uh, some safety goggles. Uh, you have some chemical um, or some neoprene gloves and maybe some other gloves that would help um, in terms of not and making sure you don't get any any damage here and then it's simple enough to do I'm going to start right here just a little bit to show you what actually happens and um, get the idea I also use a little bit of a sander with either a 220 or one 120 uh, grid and you can also maybe get a little bit more of this <laughs> You can use that easy on, easy off chemical stuff, but what I do typically is um, this this stuff, and I'll show you in a minute, I have to get this set up here. Okay. And you start at the bottom. Now, you you would remove all this, this uh, these barnacles prior to <clears throat> doing this job cleaning it up a bit and then you start down here and you work your way up with this easy off material not easy off but cleaner restore and uh, just make sure you are wearing goggles because this stuff is pretty potent And that pretty much does it. Now you just leave this for maybe you know 10-15 minutes and it will clean uh, all this material off of here and really do a decent job. Um, and then uh, what I do typically after that is I will use well, maybe some easy off again easy on easy off again. And then wash it down with some water with the hose or if you have a uh, pressure washer that that works just pretty good and uh, once that's done um, you pretty much to drop the trailer by raising the, the jack uh, remove these boards and you will get us get this uh, in a pretty good pretty good condition and ready for uh, launch I hope soon um, now one thing you can do of course at this point is paint the bottom of the pond too might be a good idea once you clean it up and you're gonna have to sand it down a little more probably uh, but to paint the bottom requires probably three coats of primer and some very expensive uh, non falling paint you cannot use normal bottom paint with copper in it because it would affect uh, the aluminum. They don't, they don't interact. They don't like each other. Um, but in order to do that, it would take quite a bit of time. Would you raise on one side at a time and and trying to let the let the paint dry for a day or two? Um, you're talking a couple weeks. And I wanted to get this boat in right away, so I may do another video on painting the bottom. Uh, next time, but this was my first. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck